Hey everybody, welcome back to MTG Killer Bees. This is the day we've been waiting for. Ultimate Masters has arrived. Ooh. Everybody's open them. We're about <laughs> a pure pressure. Let's crack this baby open. Let's see a... Maybe there's like a secret god box that has all box toppers in it. I have heard several other channels <laughs> mention that as a possible theory. And there it is. That will go to the side for right now. I guess that can go there. Holy crap. Alright. You can fix the box. Let me show that off. Right. And it's spaced differently now. So it is. Token on top, then the foil, then the rare. Yep. And then the uncommons, and then the commons. So, good news. Don't have to go through the commons anymore. And there's no... Got a worm. There's no commons or uncommons worth speaking about, so... Yeah, good. We skip the whole thing. Appetite for Brains is the foil there. Yeah. Revialark is, I think, mm. how you say that name. Rebel Arc. There we go. Commons on the way. We don't need to look at the uncommons. Yeah, Majoring Network, Grave Strength, and something Trumber. These packs are a lot harder to open. Yeah. They have a little tab on them, but it's stupid. It doesn't work. Alright, Spirit. Sultai Skull Keeper. Mm hmm. Ha ha ha! How fitting! <laughs> <laughs> you pulled one of those in an earlier box that you did. Yes, I opened some off camera and this was the box stopper, actually. Devoted Druid, Hero of Irosis, Ancestors Chosen. Treasure Cruise. Mm -hmm. Foiling's pretty light on that one. Lava Claw Reaches. Boo. Yeah. Laboratory Maniac, Murderous Red Cap, and Rally the Peasants. I still like Lab Maniac. I should build a deck with that. Alternate wind conditions are fun. Yes, I, yeah, you do certainly enjoy them. Elemental. Vengevine. Ooh. Is that a foil mythic that I just pulled? It is. Eh, ooh. You can even see that. So. I've heard people pronounce this different ways. I don't know if it's Vengevine or Vengevine. Cost four, four or four, three haste. Whenever you cast a spell, if it's the second spell you cast this turn, you may return Vengevine from your graveyard to the battlefield. And our rare is Nourishing Shoal. Hmm. Okay. Then we had uh, Deckmore Salvage, War Leader's Helix, and Heap Doll for the Uncommons. So we've gotten two Mythics in this box so far. One of them was. A foil. foil. It's pretty good. Didn't buy so quick <laughs> thinking it was going to be a crappy common. <laughs> uh, uh, patchwork gnomes. Oh, I hate that. This is more interesting than that. The token, Merit Lodge. This is what's made when you uh, crack the Dark Depths card. <laughs> Alright, the gnomes. It's the foil. Celestial Colonnade. Ooh, the only, the only one of the man lands that's actually good. Uh, Stinger Flink Spider, Malevolent Whispers, and another Jin. Wizard Gear. Little cut in there sucks. Oh, ooze. <laughs> ooze. Classic. 
flagstones of Trocare. Hey, that's pretty good. That's a foil. foil rare. Wow. Uh, seismic assault for the rare there. Mm. And Kitchen Finks Plum Bale mm. and Emancipation <laughs> Angel. I like Kitchen Finks. They're not worth that much anymore, but it's still good. Elemental Conviction Foil there. Glen Elendra Archmage. Ooh, that's a good one. Of course, that's uh, cost four for a 2 2 flying. You can pay a blue and sacrifice it to counter target non creature spell, and it's got persist. So if it didn't have any counters, it comes back with a minus one, minus one counter. Mm. Appetite for Brains, Magma, and Golgari Charm. I just like the artwork on that one. <laughs> An interesting picture on the back. Beckon Apparition is the foil there. Sovereigns of Lost Alara. Miss hmm. Vale Plains, Boneyard Worm, and Phalanx Leader. Soldier. Mining Slime. Hmm. And Ruined Halo is the rare. Give protection from the chosen name. Ancestors Chosen, Swift Reckoning, and Garna Blood Flame. Oh, she's actually kind of good. Spider, Wurnam Unicorn is the foil. I actually like that. Play that in my Enchanted Evening deck. That deck sucks. Mostly because I lose every time you manage to get Enchanted Evening out. That's the point. <laughs> Ooh. Tassiger the Golden Fang. Ah. Interesting name. Uh, Vengeful Rebirth, Hero of Lena Tower, and Rally the Peasants again. Should we do the box topper soon? Boo, wait till... No, we can't do it at the end, because then people will skip right to the end of the video. Alright, fine. You gotta make them search. <laughs> Zombie, Defy Gravity. Flagstones of Trocare. Another one. Yep. Dawn Charm. Ghoulsteed and Seal of the New Dawn. Hey, Terramorphic Expand is back. Okay, so we've gotten a foil and a regular of these. The foiling is really subtle. Can you tell which one's the foil? It's this one. <laughs> Alright, we'll do one more pack and then we'll do the box hopper that's squarely in the middle. Mental Stitcher's Apprentice is the foil. Holy crap. Hmm. It is your favorite card. Woo! <laughs> there she is. I mean, you have the Emrakul! The Eons Torn! Uh, she's so that, good. That's a great pull for you. 15 15 for 15. This spell can't be countered. When you cast this spell, take an extra turn after this one. Flying, protection from colored spells, Annihilator 6. When Ember Cool, the Eon's Torn, is put into the graveyard from anywhere, its owner shuffles their graveyard into their library. Yeah, damn Annihilator. And if you don't know what Annihilator 6 is, that means when Ember Cool attacks somebody, that person has to sacrifice 6 permanents before they declare blockers. Oh, she's so sweet. You do not need another one of those. That's yes, I do. I need all of them. <laughs> Eternal Witness, Braun, and Living Lore are the uncommons. All right. Maybe that'll be an Emrakul to you. 
<laughs> is he one of the box or is she one of the box offers? Yep. All the mythics in the set are. No. Oh. So if you open it I did not realize it was all the mythics. Okay. The seam side, the back side is the back of the card. Back of the card? Okay. So if you open it like face down and then we can flip it up and see what it is, it'll be a surprise. If you didn't know, you should know, you probably know. <laughs> Every Ultimate Masters box comes with one of these. It's a special pack with one card in it that has special art and is super fancy. Yep, alright. What do we get? Fulminator Mage. Sacrifice Fulminator Mage. Fulminator Mage. Destroy target non-basic land. It costs... A black or red, black or red, and one for a 2-2. Two, two. I don't remember hearing about that one. I don't know. I know the the man lands, except for the colonnade, are the cheapest right now. Okay. The uh, Lava Claw Reaches, I believe, is the least expensive. And it's only going for like 14 bucks. Let's see this quick. Wow. That is some great artwork. Hmm? Put that over there. Yeah, my... My suggestion to anybody who pulls one of the crappy, quote unquote crappy box toppers, uh, just put it in a sleeve and sit on it for a year or two. It'll be worth more in the future, I promise. Dreamscape Artist is the foil there. Entomb. Mm -hmm. Entomb is classic. One black, search your library for a card, put that card in the graveyard, then shuffle your library. Unsteal Mutation, Young Pyromancer, hmm. and Reviving Vapors, and holy crap, look at her. I didn't know they reprinted Unstable Mutation. Yeah. I uh, believe that's a dude. Well, him, yeah, whatever. He's, <laughs> he's crazy. New artwork, I'm assuming. Come on, let's see a Liliana or a Karn. Oh, man. To top this box uh, off. On top of Emrakul <laughs> and the box topper. Yes. Yeah, you're way more excited about Ember Cool, I know you are. Spark Elemental, Mark of the Vampire. Actually, I don't have a Karn, so I would love to oh. have a Karn. All right. Karn Liberated. Thespian Stage. Boo. Yeah. You suck. Spider Spawning, Cheaner's Edict, and Hero of Iros. Drake, Slum Reaper. Hmm. Herbal, Herbal hey. Born, Tomb of Yamas. Sweet. There's a good land. There you go. Each land is a swamp in addition to its other types. This used to be like a $20 card, and now it's going for like 7 mm. Still good, though. Appetite for Brains, Golgari Thug, and Anger. Anger's pretty good. All of those. There's one of those for each color. Elemental again. Red one that time. A foil foil. I believe <laughs> Rudy actually pulled one of those. <laughs> foil foil. Bridge from below. Yeah, bridge from below is good. So bridge from below. Three black. Whenever a non-token creature is put into the, your graveyard from the battlefield, if Bridge from Below is in your graveyard, create a 2-2 two, two black zombie creature token. When a creature is put into an opponent's graveyard from the battlefield, if Bridge from Below is in your graveyard, exile Bridge from Below. Oh. So a weird card that only does stuff when it's in your graveyard. It's good for dredge decks. Mm. Firewing Phoenix, Circular Logic, and Rogue's Passage. We got comments. Another ooze. Laboratory Maniac is the foil. Mm. There you go. Alternate wind conditions. Ooh, that one's pretty cool. Look at like little lightning balls above his head. Golgari Grave Troll. Ah, they're trolling us. <laughs> uh, slippery Boggle, Urban Evolution, Swift Reckoning. Um, 
zombie Kodama's Reach. It's pretty good. Yay! Oh, that's entertaining. Fulminator Rage. <laughs> and so, there's a the regular there one. We go. Slate of Hand, Buried Alive, and a Penubra Worm. Another Elemental. For a Celebration. Hmm. That's interesting. For Sack Outlet decks. Balefire Dragon. Yeah, boo. One of the worst mythics. But it is another mythic. What are we <laughs> at for? Not including box opera, of course. Two. Because Emrakul's in there. We had a, three. a foil one. I think it's just three. Because hmm. Emrakul, Balefire, and Vengevine. Oh, and Leovold. Yeah, okay. So it's four. Uh, Fiend Hunter, Blast of Genius, and Rise from the Tides. So four mythics in a box is pretty good. Yeah, that's not bad. And just FYI, I don't think we're going to do a value calculation on this because there is a huge panic sale going right on right now. Everybody's selling, so prices are way down. I do want to check the so, box topper. With prices being so far down, I don't think it would be a realistic expectation. Uh, interesting token, Fairy Rogue. Hmm. That's um that's for <laughs> Bitter Blossom. Bitter Blossom creates those. Okay. It's one of the chase rares in this set. Uh so fitting for the last Game of Thrones season. Fire and ice. <laughs> Ooh, and the it, the ice is really cool. It's a nice one. Visions of Beyond is the rare there. Okay. Underrate, scourge, blah. One blue, draw a card. If a graveyard has 20 or more cards in it, draw three cards instead. Spider. Ingot Sure. Hmm. Okay. Convoke. That's good. Gamble. Gamble's good. Yeah, it is. Search your library for a card. Put that card in your hand. Discard a card at random, then shuffle your library. But it costs one red. Yeah. How many red tutors are there? It's just Gamble? Yeah, I did, probably. Uh, Dreamscape Artist, Prismatic Lens, Spirit Cairn. Uh, we're down to three here. Ooh, save the Liliana pack for I, last. I was thinking that. <laughs> Hopefully they, she has a Liliana in there. This is terrible, guys. Another zombie. Uh, Verdant Eidolon. Verdant Eidolon. I said I, I don't because I read it first <laughs> in Final Fantasy and I never heard it correctly until about 15 years later. Rhea Dawnbringer. Mm, boo. Stream of Consciousness, Mystic Retrieval, and Conflagrate. Great. I didn't realize they were printed. Homunculus. <laughs> Reminds me, we need to finish watching Brotherhood. Back to basics. Hey, that's the foil? That's the foil. Nice. This, I believe this is the first time this has been reprinted since its original Urza Saga printing. And it used to be like a $70, $80 card. Mm. And now it's not. <laughs> Noble Hierarch. Oh, yeah. Fuck yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. For that one. Oh, my God, you guys, look at her. Oh, she's getting so close. Ooh, 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 oh. Shriek Mom, Meringue River Crawler, and Travel Preparations. <laughs> really, you look at this card and you have to think, who thought of that? And then who thought that was a good idea? One green for something that can tap for green, white, or blue, and it has Exalted. Yeah, that's not overpowered. Spirit. This is the last one. Last Gasp. I actually like Last Gasp. It's not bad removal spell for a common. That's common. 
And last rare, Through the Reach. Hey, Through the Breach is good, too. That's, this was a really good box. So Through the Breach yeah, is red and four. You may put a creature card from your hand onto the battlefield. That creature gains haste. Sacrifice that creature at the beginning of the next end step. It's This is amazing with Emrakul. You can also splice onto okay. Arcane if you're playing anything else with Arcane. That means you can pay two red and two when you cast a different Arcane spell and you add Through the Breach to that spell and it stays in your hand for another turn. So, yeah. we're going to pause here. I'm, we'll check the Fulminator Mage, see what it's going for right now. All right, yeah. so we checked the Fulminator Mage and it was how much? 41 something. 41 bucks, almost 42 bucks. So, not bad. I ex I really do expect all the box topper prices to rise as time goes on. And people realize the supply of those is extremely limited. I have a friend who bought a box and he unfortunately got this as his box topper. Which right now is the worst one, I believe. It's only going for like 13 bucks. So I told him, just sit on it. It'll be worth more later. And that would be my advice to everybody. Don't sell any Ultimate Masters cards right now unless you're desperate for money because I would bet anything that the rares and Mythics will be going up in this set. So, And for another video, we've got another box. <laughs> but that's another day. We got to do our uh, playthrough, our final playthrough I'll of the Guild it. Kits. Of what? What do we got left for that? Selesnia versus Demir. Demir, yeah. The He's final the battle. Time. There can be only one. Until then, say bye, honeybee. Bye, honeybee. Those are some killer bees.